I'm not hungover. I'm not feeling the after effects. I just wanted to let my hair down. I'm so flaming careful the rest of the time. Don't pull that face. What face? Like I'm nagging. I'm not nagging. This is a health warning. Gran's right. You can't take risks. Who rustled your cage? Mind your own business. Sorry, Gran. You're the boss. So, are we done here? As long as you promise not to touch another drop. Why are you so edgy? I just worry. Oh, what is wrong with you? Get upstairs. Get dressed. It's only half eight. Yeah, I'm going to work and you're coming with me. I'm not having you lying around all day. I'm on holiday. Get the Twilight Saga over here. I love them. The books and the films, especially Eclipse. The teachers used to call me the vampire. Why? Because nobody ever saw me in the daytime, but at night. Are you serious? I never know whether to believe you or not. I like books. School was just rubbish. Me and a load of other expats. The teachers didn't care whether you were there or not. They expelled you. Stitch up. What? Put it this way, Gran. Don't believe everything my mummy dearest tells you. Well, I certainly don't believe everything you say. Ooh, sitting in a booth drinking latte. It's like being back in Milan. Yeah, you'll be washing up and scrubbing floors, not lazing about. Oh! Oh! My goodness, hello, sweetheart. How is my beautiful little Bella Donna? Is that right? <laughs> Ciao, Audrey. Oh. Mwah. <laughs> Kisses Mwah. every time we meet. No. <laughs> what, she doesn't stick her fangs into you? Oh. So, where are you both off to? Well, I'm taking her to work, get her out the house. I'd sooner help out at the salon. Oh, what? Well. I'd like to be a stylist when I grow up, like Audrey. Please, I'll only be in the way, Uncle Nick's. Make sure that they're like that. We've got a new junior stylist. I'm good with hair. Can you do mine like this, Audrey? Yeah? Thought you'd want to go to one of them fancy places in town. Stars like that are timeless. I've got a poster on the wall above me bed of Marilyn Monroe. There are stars like that. Yeah, but well, you haven't done much sweeping up yet, have you, lady? Go on. Sorry. Somebody left this behind? Uh, no, it's mine. Anna Karenina? You a big fan of Russian literature? I'm just trying to be a little more cultured. I mean, I've had it weeks. I've only got to page four. Well, it's worth sticking at. It's like one of the seminal works of fiction. Seminal? Does that mean that it's got a good plot? Uh, you haven't read it, have you, Bethany? Yeah, I did an essay on it. And I've seen the film, one of the films, with Vivian Lee and Ralph Richardson. Um... It's her husband, but she don't really fancy him anymore. And that's the end of part one. Part one? How many parts are there? Eight. It's good, though. I think I'll stick to chiclet. It is chiclet, in a way. Do you know, I must say you're very well read for someone that spent their life bunking off. Not as much as me mum made out. School's full of idiots. Well, could you not go to a different one? There aren't many English schools to choose from. No, I suppose not. It's horrible there. I hate it. Oh, sweet uncle. The teachers are rubbish. It's miles from where we live. I get picked on. Does your mum know this? Like she cares. She's far too busy to worry about me. No. I never see her. Milan's OK if you're rich, but we're not. Oh, my love. I'm not Italian. I've got no family there. Seven years we've lived there and I still don't feel like I belong. Oh, sweetheart. Check up on you. I know. I got the message. You worry a lot. Nag, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, pan. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Gran. What's for dinner? Pasta. Oh, sorry. Never thought. It's fine. Thought you'd been phoning me, begging me to bring her back. No. She was very good, actually. Good. I know she's a handful, but I'm very pleased she wanted to come and see us. Yes, and I think she'd like to see a lot more of us and all. What do you mean? Girl, she's not happy in Milan. She hates it. She wants to stay here. Tough. Is it okay? It's fine. Thank you just in time. What goes on in Milan, I'll grant you that. But that little girl is not happy. Even if you're right, it's not our decision. She's a teenage girl. They're never happy. Oh, girl, it goes much deeper than that, I can tell. Sarah chose to move to Italy and bring up Bethany there. That's where they live. Do you want some of this? No, thanks. 
I had passed her for lunch about 8,000 times. <sighs> Look, the least we can do is talk to Sarah. I did do. Today, she wants Bethany home. Fighting the losing battle here, sweetheart. I don't want to go back. I like it here. You're my family. Your flight's booked. You leave on Sunday. Oh. Why is everything always my problem? 